Hey guys, what is up? This is Team Rated CDS here, back with another uh, custom corner video. And as you can see, there is a lot um, in this episode. So first off, we'll start off with this Dolph Ziggler. Um, this is an Elite 48 Dolph Ziggler. I did swap the arms to white wrist tape, I want to say, and I swapped the head skin. But yeah, as you see, swapped head skin to that one. So... <clears throat> I did put the Elite 48 head scan onto my custom figure. Now I think this looks very badass. And I couldn't be more happy with it. But yeah. Dolph Ziggler on my custom Dolph. Uh, next up I got this idea from BW Figs, aka Ben. Um, all I did was just swap white wrist tape. And then these boots. Actually these were the Elite 5 boots. And I painted them white. As you can tell. And sealed them up. Gave him a different head scan, I believe, since I think he just had the other whatever head scan it was. But yeah, awesome Dolph Ziggler figure now. Uh, the white boots and the white wrist tape make it pop, uh, pop and stand out. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of Dolph Zigglers in this uh, video. <clears throat> uh, the Elite 13 Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler. We have these Uso boots on it, which I might just swap back to the old Elite 5 boots. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I gave him the Elite 5 wrist because it matches the silver gave him what I don't know is this elite 19 the elite 19 vest and that is another different head scan as you can tell um, next up is a fix up that I've been wanting to do for a long time but always just was like kind of iffy on because I like having certain figures a certain way and my hall of fame figure now has the short haired head which kind of bothers me but yeah uh, 2002 style Eddie Guerrero Left the uh, tattoo on there. I'm not sure if he had that in 2002. Yeah. Eddie Guerrero. <clears throat> Next up we have a corporate cane. This is made from the Elite 48 cane head. And the uh, ch -ch -ch battle pack whatever. I don't know what it was. Triple H. Um, next up we have an Undertaker. I just plopped this uh, <clears throat> build a figure Paul Bear head skin onto a WrestleMania 30 attire. So it kind of looks like he has his um, Royal Rumble 2007 gear on. But yeah, awesome figure. Um, this head scan is much better than the very first one that they released. Just the paint apps on it was awesome. So that's what inspired me. Next up, we have a Tajiri custom base from his ECW days. Now, I do not have the, uh, the thing that goes around his waist. But yeah, Tajiri. <clears throat> Um, next up, we have a NJPW uh, Finn Balor based off of whenever he was the uh, junior heavyweight champion. Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's a simple attire. Jesus uh, acetone the uh, boots and the trunk designs for me, so shout out to him for that. Uh, very thankful. Uh, next up is Tyler Breeze. Uh, you already seen this in another video, but this time I did. Uh, I swapped the proper torso on it. Even though he does seem a little bit more ripped, but I just wanted to match the uh, the Now Forever figure. So I did that. <clears throat> Next up we have Chris Jericho in a street gear attire. I'm not entirely too sure which legs these are, but yeah. Custom cloth uh, jacket that you've seen in a previous video. Painted the head skin. Yeah. Chris Jericho, street gear. <clears throat> Next up we have a... Uh, 2014 Royal Rumble CM Punk. I just put the Elite 29 head scan on it. Uh, I know Punk did have his hair messy in that match, but I am currently using the the messy head scan that I have on my uh, my extra All Stars Punk. So yeah, this is kind of whenever he had his last match. I was there, so it's kind of like sentimental to me. And yeah, it was just a good time, I guess. Um, next up, we have Finn Balor. I just took a uh, what is it? From the newest Battle Pack, Joe. I just put that arm in there. It's his Fin 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 gear. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this on Instagram, but yeah. Fin Balor, nothing too crazy. <clears throat> Next up, we have Kane. Um, I took the Battle Pack head that came with The Undertaker in one of the recent series and just put this on the Elite 48. So now I have a proper Elite Kane from now, even though he does seem like he should be a little bit bigger. But I'm not going to complain about that. Pretty sweet figure. Um, yeah, nothing much really to say about it. If you got this cane or whatever, Elite 19, it's pretty much the same as them all. That's going to be for last. 
Um, next up, we have a elite. What is this? Forty-seven Kevin Owens. Um, it has Luke Harper biceps, uh, regular Luke Harper uh, forearms. And as you did see, they messed up on the uh, tattoo on his knuckles because they are supposed to be up here. And I think FWE pointed that out to me. But yeah, also gave him John Cena shins and the older style kick pads, painted in black, sealed them. Yeah, Kevin Owens, based off of nowadays. And then <clears throat> last but not least, we have the cleaner Kenny Omega. Um, as you see in the old head skin that I did have before, uh, I, the gun on his tights, the uh, Bullet Club logo, it says the cleaner, and then it says Omega Man on these. And then you got the uh, the wings on the back, and it has the Elite logo there. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for this one. As you can see, we have a few canes, a bunch of Dolph Sigglers, you know. But overall, I'm very happy with all these fix-ups. And I think they have made a lot of these figures so much better. So yeah, I mean... If you want the recipe to some of these recipes to some of these customs, just uh, either message me on here, comment or whatever, or you can go to my Instagram and just message me there. Just comment on the post saying, you know, I sent you a DM because I do have them private because I don't want that getting blown up. But yeah, special thanks to Jesus for acetoning that off. Um, he did acetone those legs off about a year ago, so yeah. Um, go follow him on Instagram at Jesus Customs. Uh, it is Jesus underscore customs to be exact. Um, go follow him on uh, YouTube. Subscribe to him. Like his videos. And also, yeah, there's not really much to say other than just uh, like, subscribe, comment to my videos. Um, I'm trying to get Mania out. It's a little bit struggle being sick twice in the last, like, three weeks. So that kind of sucks. But, yeah. Um, yeah, all these new customs fix-ups. Uh, I'll probably take more pictures of these on Instagram if you want to see more detailed pictures. But, yeah, thanks, guys, and have a good day.